You're listening to Puma Podcast. Ikaw, tatanungin kita, bakit mahalaga para sa'yo ang makasali sa palarong pambansa? Kasi po, para sa pamilya ko at gusto ko rin po mauwi ng gold. At makatulong po siya sa imo pamilya. Kanindot po siya na sports. That was Carla Luardo, just one of the hundreds of young athletes aiming for gold at the Palarong Pambansa. Sabi ni Carla, she's doing this for her family as well. Hi! Ako si Aliana Fe Malacas, student intern sa Puma Podcast. Nakikinig kayo sa Teka Teka News. In today's episode, we join the Palarong Pambansa matapos ang tatlong taong kanselasyon dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic. This is the 63rd Palarong Pambansa, but this is just the first games in three years. We are at the Marquina Sports Center. Ang batang malakas sa kanyang kaisipan at katawan ay para sa pansang matatag. Batang malakas! Pansang matatag, sabay-sabay natin isigaw, palarong pamansa, para sa bansa, para sa lahat, batang malakas, batang matatag. That was Marikina Mayor Marcy Chodoro. The mayor formally opened the Games, the country's largest youth sporting event. With its own Olympic-sized swimming pool, courts for various sports, and a 400-meter athletics track, Marikina stepped in as host after Mamburao and the entire Mindoro Island were struck by Typhoon Tesoy in 2020. The Palarong Pambansa was first held in Manila in 1948. This year, more than 9,000 athletes, coaches, and officials from the Philippines' 17 regions have come together for competitions across 34 sports. All these include Paralympic Games featuring athletes with disabilities. It was day two of the 2023 Palarong Pambansa when I went. And it was raining. Non-stop pang ulan and the track and field events were of course most affected. Runners were shivering from the cold. At the sidelines, my eyes were caught by this little girl. She was drenched in the rain, pero kahit basang-basa na siya, it was clear that she was crying. Her coach was hugging her. I introduced myself. Si Carla. Carla, ilang taon ka na? Ano? 11. 11 years old. Taga saan kayo? Taga Dabao. Taga Dabao. Anong sports ang nilalaro mo? Athletics. Ano sa athletics ang nilalaro mo? Takbo po. Tumatakbo ka. Paano ka na-introduce sa sports na yan? Si... Yung bata pa yung kuya ko na... Noong bata pa po kuya ko, na-inspire po ako dahil marami siyang medal. Gusto ko rin na magkaroon ng medal na sa akin lang. Tapos, para makatulong rin po sa pamilya ko. Carla traveled from Davao. Of course, she wanted to be like her brother. She wanted to win. Yun ang dahilan kung kaya nung nakita ko siya, she was crying. Mr. Rowella Pina, Carla's coach, joined my conversation with Carla. Nakatakbo na po siya? Ah, tapos na. Meron pang, buka, meron pang laro bukas. 100 meters. Tapos na po kung maglaro. Oh, kamusta naman yung laro mo kanina? Hindi po okay. Hindi po okay. Bakit? Ano nangyari? Talo po kasi ako. Coach Ruel said Carla prepared long and hard for this moment. Nag-prepare po kami alas isang taon po. Uh, nung pandemic ba, naka-apekto po sa inyo, sa training ninyo? Opo. Paano na naka-apekto ang pandemic sa inyo? Kasi tumigil kami sa pwag training kasi pandemic. Kaya ang karun eh, hinay na po. Ngayon, humina din ako ulit. Ah, malaking epekto ah, naka, malam, malaking apekto sa amin yung pandemic kasi hindi makapag ah, practice na maayos ang bata kasi bawal lumalabas eh The pandemic represented a real hurdle but even with the covid lockdowns coach Rowell says the typical Filipino athlete is handicapped by the hard realities in the Philippines Ayun yung mga bata namin ah, usually 
ano yan sa, sa, sa buhay, katamtaman lang yung, yung iba, uh, mahirap lang. Kaya nga kami nag-shoulder ng mga ibang expenses. Uh, kami mga coach, kami mag-shoulder. Kami ang paminsan, magpakain sa kanila kung walang, walang budget ang government namin or ang DepEd. The Department of Education in Davao's allocation for the regional athletes comes to no more than 3 million pesos. If you win a gold at the Palarong Pambansa, you can get 25,000 pesos. Malaking bagay na yun for Carla. I asked Coach Rowell what the Palarong Pambansa means for young athletes he knows. Ah, malaking kaibahan kasi dito sa Palarong Pambansa, ah, yung mga kalaban namin, ma yung malalakas talaga. Ah, di katulad ng sa, sa amin, yung probinsya namin, ah, Davao Regional Athletic Association, Uh, kami ang inahabol nila kasi kami yung angat sa panalo. Ngayon, mahirap. Dadaan ka muna sa butas ng karayom. Makakuha ka lang ng gold. The Davao region has won 128 gold medals from 2016 to 2023. Not surprisingly, the games are usually dominated by the National Capital Region. Athletes from Metro Manila have won 500 29 gold medals over the last five years and have been at the top of the Palaro for 14 straight years. Pagkatapos ng Palarong Pambansa, saan mo naman gusto sumali? Dito pa rin po. Gusto ko pa rin mag-athletics pa rin. For Carla, a good showing could mean many things beyond the medal. Maybe it could open doors to scholarships for high school. Maybe it leads to opportunities for college. Who knows? She could be one of those champions who become stars like Lydia De Vega or Elma Muros and ultimately help to lift up her entire family. But what are the odds? All that Carla knows is what she's learned as an athlete. Magsipag kayo na manalo kayo. Malaki din yung premyo at makakatulong sa inyong pamilya. Lalo na pag nagkaroon ka ng medal na maipapakita sa iyong pamilya para mituwa ang mama at papa. Apo, uh, para sa kanya, uh, uh, isang karangalan po ang makapanalo sa uh, competition na ito. Katulad ng Palarong Pabansa kasi makareceive ng medal. Aside, aside yan, meron din kaming... Uh, cash incentives na ibibigay doon sa aming uh, local uh, LGO, local, local unit. So sana kung makagold ka, meron ka rin matanggap na cash incentives. Carla was just one of the hundreds of athletes at the Palarong Pambansa. She was just one daughter hoping to do her parents proud. With her coach, she was just one young girl who really showed the value of sports and athletics what it teaches you about dreaming and working hard. After I saw her on day two, that moment when she was crying, gaya ng sabi ni coach, the next day she competed again sa 800 meter run. And yung Batang Davao, she won. Gold. And that's today's episode of Teka Teka News. Mule, ako po si Aliana Fe Malacas, student intern sa Puma Podcast. Follow Teka Teka and Puma Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, o kung saan man kayo Puma Podcast. Nasa YouTube din kami. Maraming salamat po.